handy. It must be fall because my nose is running like crazy. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I made like a veggie broth type of deal. I was tasting it because I have just a little teeny tiny bit left, but it's not enough to put in a jar. And I don't have <laughs> I don't have ice cubes, so I put them in my mason jars. Just don't fill them completely full because it will expand. But I wanted to freeze them. Now. The reason why mine looks the way it does is because I put two potatoes in here. I don't, I don't skin my potatoes. I take the skins and I eat them. So yes, I washed them. And it took two pans. <laughs> I, I took carrots that I had skinned. I took a handful of onions and then I took another handful out of my onion I had because I love onions. Didn't put any mushrooms in here. I did put a couple big huge spoonfuls of garlic. Um, potatoes, I cut up two good sized potatoes. <clears throat> and I do mean two good sized potatoes. These I'm going to eat later. So I got four. Because I'm going to actually, one of those I'm going to cut up and fry. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. But anyway. <clears throat> um, okay, so I put potatoes, some carrots, like the skins of carrots. I took celery. And, um. <clears throat> let's see. Celery. And... I'm trying to think what else I put in here. Onions, garlic, I put a little bit of pepper. Oh, and I did put um, some parsley in here. I took some of my spices and put in there. Um, I didn't put in like oregano or Italian because I didn't want it to be that way. And so the potatoes are what made it look starchy. <coughs> Sorry. Apparently my nose is draining into my throat today which means it's going to be one of those weird days for me. <coughs> I just drank something and yeah, my throat feels like it's dry. So I'm not concerned. I'm not worried that it turned out looking like a potato soup because I can put mushrooms in here and make it a mushroom soup. Oh, and I also put a block of silken tofu in here for the re simple reason that over the winter, I'm sure that I'm not the only one. And I figured this out back in my 20s when we I was friends with some people who they would tell us that over the winter, they're like, we just didn't feel like cooking. Like, yeah, it would have heated up the kitchen, would have heated up the house. However, it was one of those, I just didn't feel like cooking today, so we made soup. Like, there are six of us, and each one of us wanted a different soup, so I made six different soups. So, over the years, I've realized that I'm not the only person who, you know what, I just don't feel like cooking tonight, I'm not going to go out of my way. And I was like, okay, so you put tofu in here, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> and you can, like, heat up a mason jar and have something like soup. Because you've got your vegetables, you've got potato, which is a starch, and I did not, first I boiled my potatoes, but I did not throw that juice out. I kept it, and I um, used it to boil everything, so I still have the potato starch in this liquid. And then um, I added my vegetables, and I even added a block of silken tofu, so I will get my protein, everything. It's, it's really, it's really cool. I will make another thing of um, broth. It just won't have a potato in it, so it looks clearer. And that way, if I want to make a stew or I want to make chicken noodle soup, because seriously, um, I can make a chicken noodle soup. Um, I, I might make chicken soup and not the noodles, because I have yet to find a noodle that doesn't have eggs 
or milk in it, which I'm like, and I don't have a pasta maker to make soup, so, or to make noodles, so um, I'm going to finish this off and drink it or eat it or whatever you want to call it. And then, um, yeah, so it's that time of year where I'm making stuff to put in the freezer for like January, February, and, um, you know, yeah, um, it apparently is going to cool off because yesterday they were put, the weather people were posting about how there was a cold front coming through and it's going to drop temperatures and it's going to be chilly. I'm like, oh, I'm not a fan of cold. However, I'm like, okay, I got to get going on making stuff that I can freeze that will come in handy in like January when it's 40 below and it's like, I, you know, even though it heat up the apartment nicely, I'm just going to heat me up some broth and drink that and, you know, so add a box, uh, add a, um, package of silken tofu. Matter of fact, I laid this one out to go into my vegan milk. Because I was like, you know, even though I'm getting the protein from the nuts, I'm like, I'm going to add that to my, my vegan milk and see if that doesn't make a difference too. So, okay, it's Saturday morning about 9.30. Have a wonderful day and I'll be back another time.